So frankly, sometimes you just don't think you can do it. You have doubt, you think things are impossible to attain, and uh, you get unmotivated. Well, this video is here to combat that unmotivation, to let you know that yes, sometimes you can do it. You just have to be willing to open yourself up to that possibility. So of course, I'm here today with yet another drink. Today, it happens to be carrot juice. It seems to be, okay, I, I have to take a drink now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, now it's like a tradition apparently because I've done this twice in a row <laughs> to have some sort of drink deliciousness in front of me while I do a commentary. So, uh, anyways, enough about carrot juice. I just want to tell you a short story, very, very, very simple, but just to let you know how possible things can be when you're like, there's no way in the world this is going to happen. Okay, so this week, Monday, I was running extremely late for class. I wasn't on time. I had already actually passed the point at which I should have already left my house in order to get to school on time by 10 minutes. So just to give you an example of how, um, how late I actually was. So it takes me more than an hour to go from my house to, the, uh, to the, the parking area, to take the shuttle from the parking area to school, and to go from school to walk from one side of the campus to the other. It, it, all that stuff adds up, takes well over an hour for me, okay? So at this point in time on Monday, I was leaving my house with less than 50 minutes to go from my house all the way to the lot where I park, take the shuttle, which takes, which is bare minimum, it's like an eight minute shuttle drive. That's, that's a fast one. Usually it's about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, to, to take a shuttle ride all the way to school, and then it takes me at least 10 minutes to walk from where the shuttle drops me off to my classes because my campus is huge as are many uh, large college campuses. So I had less than 50 minutes to do all of this. I have this down to the dime. I know exactly when I need to leave in order to get to school on time and in order to allow me, you know, just in case there's, I get more red lights and so on and so forth. That time frame is an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes. So just kind of let that soak in for a second and realize that I was over 30 minutes late, okay? So I had to be at class this day because, so one of my classes, yes, it's college, and I know this sucks, but there are some teachers that take attendance, and it's part of a huge part of your grade, and because I'm anal retensive and I want to get an A all the time, I just, it, it destroys me if I miss my attendance grade, because it's just, to me, that's like free points. All I have to do is show up. Come on. So... Um, so, but in order to get those points, you have to be at the very beginning of class and sign the sheet when it goes around, and that's it. That's your one and only chance. So I'm leaving more than 30 minutes late. I'm getting in my vehicle. I'm already driving. I'm, I'm speeding. Not extensively, of course. You gotta, you gotta be safe. You gotta be safe. But I'm going real fast. I'm trying to get to my class, and the whole time I was in my, in my car, and I'm like, there is no way in hell that I am going to make it on school on time, and this sucks so much. Because I could have left uh, earlier had I just paid more attention. I was totally just messing around, and I was like, oh, I got plenty of time. I hopped in the shower, got out, and I was like, oh, my gosh, uh, I'm already 20 minutes late. And then, you know, it adds up, you know, I'm 30 minutes late. So anyways, drove to school. whole time I'm driving to school, I'm like, there is no way I'm going to make it on time. It, I mean, it is impossible. How is it even possible that I can make it on time? It takes me almost an hour and 20 minutes on average to get there on time, and I only have 50 minutes. Well... Wouldn't you know, as I said, things aren't always impossible if you open yourself up to the possibility of accomplishing it or, or actually it working out. And, and, and in this particular instant, I, didn't, I hadn't opened myself to, up to it. I was totally against it. But it happened anyways. So remember this, okay? So I drove to school. I got every single green light. Um, and I drove like 20 miles of school, okay? I got every green light, made it all the way to the freeway, Took the freeway straight up, um, fast trip through the freeway, made the lights, the few lights that went to my parking lot, got on the parking lot. Literally, when I walked up to the shuttle area, there was a bu there was a shuttle, it's not called a bus, there was a shuttle that pulled up, picked me up, and it took off less than 60 seconds after it pulled up. Took us right to class, I got off the shuttle, walked, I, no joke, made it in the class like 30 seconds before, uh, before I think my, my, my class that day started at, my, because my professor wasn't there, so it was at three, and I think I made it in the class at 3.01. She didn't come into class till 3.03. .03. What are the odds of that? I actually made it in class. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Um, 
I made it to class almost exactly when I was supposed to be there, and it usually takes me twice, you know, you know, 30 minutes extra to get there. I made it there on time. My teacher happened to not come on time either, and it just worked out perfectly. So I know that, I hope that you weren't too built up to like, oh my God, this is going to be such, the, such an amazing story ever, but uh, stuff like that happens every day, and don't forget that. Like, it's awesome when you actually do something that you never thought you could do or it works out. And I, the, the feeling is amazing. So don't, sometimes you want to give up hope. Don't, don't always give up hope. Have a, little bit of, have a little bit of faith. Have a little bit of confidence in yourself. You can do it. So I just wanted to do this to kind of motivate you guys a little bit and kind of get you guys thinking like, hey, just because I think it's not going to happen doesn't always mean it's not going to happen. There's always some chance in there. And uh, do what you can to try to make that happen. Obviously, because I was going fast and everything that I did, uh, it, it happened to work out in the long run and, and helped me get him, get to my class on time. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you once again for spending this Wednesday afternoon with me. I hope you enjoyed this random Battlefield 4 gameplay I'm going to throw up on here. Um, at least I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing, so we'll see if that goes up. Anyways, guys, I will catch you next week or possibly earlier. And uh, once again, have an awesome Wednesday. As always, guys, thank you so much. Stay flying, stay fresh, and I will catch each and every one of you later. Peace.